Hello and welcome to another exciting instalment from Grade Game. Today we're looking at GCSE Physics Required Practical 6. Required Practical 6 deals with force and extension of a spring. In terms of the physics, what we're looking at is Hooke's Law. Now for those of you that can remember, Hooke's Law tells us that the force is proportional to the extension and we're given the formula force equals K times E. And the formula is appearing on your screen here. The instructions for this are downloadable from my web shop. The web address is appearing on screen right here. These are free of charge and tell you everything you need to know in order to conduct this required practical. To do this required practical, you need a small spring, a metre rule, a stack of masses, and a clamp stand and clamp. So here we have the setup all ready to go. We've got our clamp stand clamped to the desk to prevent it toppling over, our metre rule clamped in the clamp stand and our spring clamped at the top of the ruler in line with the very edge of the ruler. The first thing that we need to do is take a measurement of the spring with no mass added and here we can see that our spring is 2.2 centimetres long. The first thing that we have to do is add a mass hanger to the spring this mass hanger has a mass of 100 grams, which is a weight of 1 newton. So we add it on to our spring, and then we need to read the measurement off the spring. So here we are with just 100 grams or 1 newton on it, and we can see that the spring now has a length of 6 centimetres. Now we add another mass onto the mass hanger. The spring is now stretched. And here we can see we have a length of 10.5 centimetres. In order to take these readings, I'm moving the video camera down on the tripod each time so that the video camera is in line with the bottom of the spring and that reduces any parallax error. We now repeat this for the rest of our masses. With our spring at its maximum stretch, we take our masses off, very carefully making sure the spring doesn't flick anywhere, and then we just double check to make sure that our spring is the same length as we started with, that way we know we have not exceeded the elastic limit of the spring. So here we have our results from the experiment. The next thing that we need to do is calculate the extension. In order to calculate extension, we need to subtract the original length from the length that we have measured. So, with no mass added, we are obviously going to have zero extension. Now we subtract our length from the measurement that we took, so 6 minus 2.2 is 3.8. We then subtract 2.2 from 10.5 to give us 8.3. And we repeat this all the way down our results table. So there we have our results for extension. Notice that I've always worked to one decimal place. If I've measured to one decimal place, I can only quote my calculations to either one decimal place or zero decimal places. I cannot go to two decimal places because that would imply improved accuracy. Now we have our data, we can plot a graph of weight on the horizontal axis, on the x-axis, against extension on the y-axis. 
so again we choose our axes accordingly we're going to go from 0 to 10 on the X and we're going to go from 0 to 45 on the Y so there we have our axes plotted now we can plot our points so our first point is 0 0 nice and easy next point is 1 and 3.8 Two, three, 3.5, 3.8, and now we can plot the rest of them. Now we've got our points plotted, we can draw our line of best fit, and there should be a straight line going through 0, 0 provided we haven't exceeded the limit of proportionality. Now we can take an object of unknown mass and hang it on our spring balance and then we'll be able to calculate its mass. We can see that our spring has stretched to 13.4 centimetres. Take off your 2.2 original length which gives us 11.2 centimetres extension. Coming back to our graph, we can find 11.2 centimetres on the Y axis. Draw across to our graph and then draw vertically down to the X axis. This tells us that our object has a weight of 2.3 newtons. According to our graph, our object has a weight of 2.3 newtons and that is 230 grams so let's see how close we are 260 grams so we're 30 grams out given the equipment that we've got that's not far off so there we have it we've been able to calculate the extension of a spring we can calculate the spring constant by using force equals spring constant times extension formula is appearing here would rearrange it to give us that the spring constant is force divided by extension don't forget you can watch my other required practical videos by subscribing to my youtube channel grade gain which is appearing here playlist for the other videos is appearing here click on this link Good luck with your GCSEs.